Hi, welcome to an OOA original production. I'm here joined with... Oh, originals, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Would it not be original OAs? Because it's already O. Original OAs. Oh, oh, originals. I like Welcome. Originals. Sounds like a cereal. <laughs> week 11. Here we are. Ooh, week 11. I don't have a blanket. Mm-hmm. Ooh, his leg's gonna be cold. Calvin lost his giraffe. The 11th My podcast. Giraffe. Wow. Double digits. Into the double digits. Into the double digits. Into the double digits. Into the digits. Into number 11. On the road to Is the glass table closer to you guys this time? It feels far. I feel it's pretty close to me. That's what I was thinking. But it's okay. Spoiler alert. My thing is sliding. They didn't know it was glass. I mean, they should have watched the movie. (laughs) This is the official promo for the OOA movie. Go check it out in theaters (laughs) this second. It's done in who knows how many years. Yeah. (laughs) OOA Productions. Productions. I'm Calbino. It's about a guy, Justin, who wants to save another guy. You go right <laughs> from another guy. <laughs> another guy. But wait, there's more. Yeah. He meets his long lost guy, <laughs> <laughs> and together the two guys take on two other guys, and those two guys <laughs> take on two more guys, and they're all women. But dun dun. dun. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Number 11 They started off mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, doing the kin here Let me start that again You're He's the last one, I think Yeah Who? Calbino? No, I yeah, started you. it Yeah, you Yeah Yeah Eddie Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're the last one to say Yeah, but I'm just saying Let me, let me start over <laughs> And say, hi, I'm doing the kin <laughs> Okay, okay, okay I see, Hey, I see. doing the kin Bring it back in the end uh, Who's got a start in Starting topic. I feel like I always start, so I'm gonna hold mine for I a little like bit. I feel like that's cap. I feel like I always just jump right into my topic. Did Jason bring a topic. Jason. Nope. Jason. 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 My topic Jason. is um. Jason. I'll let you know in a few minutes when I think <laughs> of it. Mm. Do you have a topic, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan thoroughly disappointed. Uh, <laughs> I have a topic. I did, and then I watched. I edited the other podcast and I already talked about it. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a topic? I have a bottomic. Ooh. So I'm the only one with a topic. Yeah. Yep. Because you have a bottomic. Yeah. Well, controversial stuff. That's what I want to talk about. So Move. here's what I was thinking, right? And I kind of talked about it to y'all the other day. Or maybe I'll bring it up later, What this part of it. But uh, shoot, now I lost it. <laughs> this is the thing. worst start to any podcast <laughs> so in far. history. I was probably not in history. No, no, in history. Of history. You, if you're oh, gonna do oh, it, oh, you might as well be the best at it, right? Yeah. You well, you're the one. You're yeah, the one who doesn't have a topic. topic. You don't have a topic. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, but I brought multiple topics to the thing. All right. Well, you bring so up. Maybe bullshit. it was your turn to start up. <laughs> what have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Two guys <laughs> <laughs> with no top, with no top. Me, two other guys with also don't no have topics. topics. <laughs> um, okay, my topic is what I learned in boating school. Is <laughs> what do you think? Comment. What do you think the most current form of magic is? Mm, words. Me too. But I feel like words are always in there. Because I feel like when you do, like, when they did spells, right? They're, like, conjuring energy, right? And then they say these specific words, right? And that goes with the energy, and then it creates this spell. Do you believe in magic? Something. But I think today, yeah, probably the most. I think it's brainwashing. Brainwashing? The amount of advertisements. I've been thinking about that a lot. Mm. The amount of advertisements. And you would say that was magic because? Well, it's it's the whole... um, like hypnosis aspect of Sweet. magic where Sweet. it, it Sweet. the capability that a company has to shove their product in front of your face is unfathomable true if you were to go back 20 years and be like yeah i oh i've seen this on an ad here 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 they only had like four or five years 
but now it's everything has advertisement because it's a way for everyone to make money. And the only person that, like, nobody's really a, a, theoretically a victimless crime, even though you're being sit, like, you're sitting here watching over and over and over, oh, do this thing, buy this product, do this thing, buy this, how would they live? Yeah. Like, the amount of advertisement that is out And you right said that was, insane. and you're saying that's magic because, yeah. sorry, sorry, what, like. Because uh, the hypnot, the, the, oh, yeah. I see, okay. I'm saying it was black magic. The, yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, Hypnotic my, aspect of it. My definition. Okay, hold on. Right before you go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna let you go. finish in a minute. Just because you might switch up a word or two based off this. Okay. Alright. The power of apparently influencing the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. Music. So is, that makes sense. Yeah, I stand by my answer. Because of apparently influencing the course of events by using mysterious. So mysterious could go into your. Subliminal thing because uh, supernatural I'll, or what is a supernatural force? Something I would feel like beyond nature. Is that like yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. So then yeah. So then at that point it would be under the and category of mysterious supernatural force. Okay, and then your definite. What would you say? Is the I was most gonna say music. True. Yeah, that's what I think too. I think music has had music. Yep. Well, I think yeah, everything yeah, yeah. there's different different levels to it for sure, but that's as an individual. Depends on who's thing, making music. I think it's music. I think everyone. You know, you might be right though. You're saying he said. Uh, you might be right though. Because ad, he said there's ads in. Music. When was the that's last time saying. that you saw an ad that didn't have music accompanying it? Mm. That's true. They, they, the Either jingles. background or yeah, slogans, jingles like. True. If it's one of those ads where it's like, hi. But then even so, we're like, Dah, there's nah, still, nah, yep. It sounds like the elevator music, yeah. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, and, and that's crazy, too, because I did um, a Bible study a month or two ago that I was talking about, because the pastor was talking about how Lucifer's biggest, like, his role was the choir director. So music is literally one of the most potent, just altering yeah. forces. I definitely have. think, yeah, I think music, because words... You know, like, I think the reason I thought about this was because, like, when, like, a six-year-old asked me, like, asks you a question, like, 30 times, or, like, just keeps, like, when they say it, you knowing the words and whatever, you're going to listen to it and you're going to intake it. It's hard for you to be, like, they tell me something, I don't hear anything they say. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, they can directly influence you based off whatever they say or whatever, whatever. But I think music is more of magic because you can almost sedate them with the music part like the instrumental instrument part right and then you put them like you have this like vibe this vibration and then when they're in that you put them into this like energy field and then you start throwing words in there and now you got this whole thing well you think about how many people that just listen to music for the instrumental mm. right mm -hmm. and that's then true you think about like how people say that they don't listen to the conscious stuff, right? We and you were talking about that. All or I guess all of us are talking about that. And that we don't listen to the conscious stuff. And because it just doesn't have like that hard beat or doesn't like it's not talking about the sex, it's not talking about drugs, it's not talking about gore. It's not talking about the glam of like yeah, it's not lit. Yeah, it's not lit. And so I feel like that has a bit major factor is like why that is so lit is because the music behind it is very swaying. It makes you want to dance, makes you want to move. So, like, that's a factor in it, and that's why a lot of people listen to trap, a lot of people listen to pop, and, like, it's not all pop, it's not all trap, you know what I'm saying? Certain See, artists. but that's, that's also targeting, though, because then, then cause you're not going to put, like, who's a good example of this? Let's say Fetty Wap isn't going to make a country song about heartbreak, because that's not his target. He's not going to get on it. He may use a country he might beat. feature on a country yeah. song about heartbreak. Right? <laughs> but hey, that, that's right. not his target. And yes. even when you look at a man, you'd love to talk about the Little Dicky song all the time. Save that money. Like the, he had the whole joke going on about he had Rich Homie Kwan do the feature. And he's like, you know, what? it would have cost too much anyway. What does this have to do with what I'm talking about? And it's just that. So, and that's part of the reason I brought up advertisement. Because now it's all personalized. The show you're watching depicts the ad you'll see. Yeah, the music you're listening Anything to you depicts the ad you see. Yeah, it's all targeted. <laughs> it's all specialized, and so that that goes the same for music, because I'm not gonna like 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you to listen to this one country artist because I like this one song that somebody played me. I'm going to be like, yo, I heard this song, but I don't know that artist. That's not my, that's not my cup of tea. And so I'm not that target. As a result, the, the instrumental is not going to appeal to me. The lyrics aren't going to appeal to me. Like, the totality of it isn't going to But someone is going to but be someone is, under someone's that. But someone's that target. And there's, gonna, and there's every, like, what, like, all the Taylor Swift people. Mm-hmm. You got all those people that are influenced. I think we talked about that too. Oh, you mean football point. fans? Or it's like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah like, you mean uh, either Eagles fans or Chiefs uh, fans. Either one or the other, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're talking about, like, with the stream or something. Like, if you're not in that, like... If you don't watch it or you don't listen to it, you're not in that thing. But just because you're not in that thing, there's so many people who are in that thing. Yeah. And it's like they are all influenced by whatever they whatever she does or they do, you know. And they're and it's very influential. Like back in like twenty sixteen with like the lean and the pills and shit, like all the rappers are rapping about it and then just kids who are like sixteen are just thinking like that's the cool thing to do, right? Just directly influenced by it, right? And yeah. I'm sure not everyone really thought about it at the time. Like I'm sure people would, oh, I'm just make, I'm making money, blah blah blah, I'm lit. I'm sure some of them were doing that stuff. Not all of them were doing it. Those people were just exploiting it. You know what I mean? And then like Russ like wore a shirt that said like, if you do drugs, you're an idiot or whatever. But the previous week at the festival before that, he wore like uh, the racism shirt or whatever. <coughs> he gets like canceled or like. The fuck rush shit happens because of he said like the don't like that thing, and then come in like twenty twenty, he just re lists the shirt that he wore the week before, and he makes like five hundred k towards like all the Black Lives Matter charities and blah 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 at that time. Thanks. And it was like, but four years prior or three years prior, he got like canceled in on the Twitter community because he wore a shirt his he. he targeted the drugs but then when he was targeting the racism thing no one said anything about that and then now it's like he brings it back and he's like i had been doing this all along mm-hmm. you know what i mean and things like that so like but at the time there were so many kids that got influenced like i remember seeing it like just kids like you know even like it was like my grade then his grade and then the grade under that all were doing like pills and shit and it was like yeah. but two years ago when i was at that age group out we were like playing outside you know what i mean just starting to drink shit like that and it was like in two years, this shit ramped up so fast. Mm-hmm. Where it was like there, and then it was like super parent, or it was like not around, and then everywhere it's like around people. You got kids doing this, this, and that, you know. And then I saw like a like a report, like one of the kids I graduated with, he got caught up in like a huge like heroin ring mm. and shit like that. And it's like I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Because you don't. And at the time, at the town, it was like a very like nuke town, very like. One, two, three house, one, two, three house, like all the same. Mm-hmm. You know, Blue Ribbon School, people like, it's literally straight bullshit from top to bottom, you know? But it's literally like, you would, like in that community, like no one, like they, it's pretending like it's not a thing. But kids are committing suicide, kids are on drugs, kids are dying, you know what I mean? Things like that. And it's, but back to the music thing, it is very influential when you get, when people get into it, like a, Cause I remember when I started, like Jason used to play like Joey Badass and Pro Air and shit, and I'd be like, Nah, fuck that. Let's listen to like Tour Cinema Club and Mac Miller and blah blah. blah. And he was like, Nah, fuck that. And then eventually, like not that long, but in time, it was like I was like, Oh wait, that shit's dope. And then once I started listening to Joey Badass and shit, I literally listened to Joey Badass, Flatbush Zombies, uh, Underachievers, and Mick Jenkins, and Capital C's in there. Just them for literally a year. Like, you couldn't tell me anyone else was better than them. You couldn't show me any other music. I wasn't hearing it, wasn't having it. Everyone at the time was playing Fetty Wap and like, <laughs> you know, and I'm hearing that every weekend. And I'm like, why would I have that in my playlist if everywhere I go, that's there? And then we have somebody else in my playlist. And I literally just listened to that for a year straight. And then I heard Bob Marley and I was like, holy fuck, there's other music, there's other people in different genres that are giving you this message of like uh love and peace and like opening your mind and things like that and it's like okay and then i like re-found the love of music in general just a whole and then then i like 
whatever. But I'll still always love Joey Badass and shit like that. But I remember there was a time it was like, no matter what, he was the best rapper, Joey Badass. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one could tell me anything else <coughs> because at the time, honestly, he was. Like, he was. Like, when if you compared all the music, yeah, Drake and Future Rider had some hype songs and blah, 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 and da, da, da. But who was actually spinning this music that will really, really last throughout ages? You know what I mean? It was Joey, it was the Joey Bass and them. Like, literally just honest, speaking about, like, growth and shit like that instead of, like, sipping lean and stuff. You know what I mean? But there's, like, or I just fucked your bitch and some coochie foot flops. Like, that song went hard. People, like, love that shit. You know what I mean? But really, was it the best song to really... Was it, was it the greatest song at the time? I don't know if it was the greatest song at the time, actually. But... On the charts and on the on the internet, it was, you know, it was at one point in time one of the best songs out there or the top songs played, you know. I so. think that's what makes Michael Jackson so immortal, because a lot of his music was that subliminal, like we need to be having these conversation talks or conversation talk, topics. And so, as I don't know. I, I'm not. I honestly haven't listened to Michael Jackson enough to really understand what? his catalog. I heard it like I. Will, I know the lyric to like the top five songs. You know what I have mean? You, have you ever heard? Um, what is the actual name of that song? That all I wanna say is that they don't really care about us. I think it is just care about us. Have you ever heard that one? Uh, I probably. I think I've heard it. I've heard like I've heard, but I haven't like I gone. Yeah, 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 I haven't gone and been like, let me just listen to this dude's <laughs> catalog. And, if, to be you fair know. though, like my grandmother had the um, the like full open up CDs. <laughs> yeah, so I had the whole collection. Yeah, you might, you might as well. At so that point. I was able, definitely yeah. able to like just. It's sit just there and it's tough because the ones that get played, like honestly. Like, if I didn't know who SZA was, and the only song I heard was when they played Kill My Ex on, like, the radio every fucking 10 minutes, I would be like, I'm not listening to this person. And then, but if you actually listen to the album, it's actually, there's, like, great songs on there, and they only play one, Mm -hmm. you know? So if you're, like, Michael Jackson, like, all you hear is, like, Beat It and shit like that, it's, like, some of those, like, that's, like, a sexual song. But even, even, like, Man in the Mirror, though, is a great... called Beat It, a sexual song? The title, maybe. But. Yeah, but even so, there's all part. It's all layered in there. You know what I mean? The, the entire topic of Vita is get the fuck out of danger. Okay. That's the, it, it, like, I will, yeah, you're strong, yeah, you're buff, but why are we spilling blood? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's so, what I mean. Like, I yeah, but even I don't know. It's, I get what you, he I need the lyric sheet. He is. <laughs> yeah, I do need the lyric. And that, that's why I said I don't. I haven't done enough research on Michael Jackson to really be like, oh, I can speak on him. Except that I'm sure that everything they say about him is not always true and shit like that. Yeah. I'm sure there's some other shit going on underneath, and he probably was one of the first to die in a certain way. You know, he might have been the first to die in the way he died. You know. But, yeah. um, I know what my topic is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to move oh. on to something. All right, fix guys. it, fix it, we'll fix it. Catch fix you it. in the next oh, podcast. Big, it was fix fun, guys. It. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to the next podcast. It's your boy doing the kin episode twelve. Eleven point five. For the audio listeners. Like, yeah, the neon cool. sign cut out for a second. Yeah. As a sign. I do that on time. It is a sign. Sign to move on to our next topic. Topic. Okay. <laughs> so, shit. What was I gonna say? The neon sign made me like blunder. I have a topic. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. My fault. The neon sign turned off. I'm not the keeper of the lights. And what was the topic? I figured. That was a good one too. That was his idea of fizzing up. <laughs> the light above Eddie's head. <laughs> Calvin? You got one? Mm, I have a bottom make. What's your bottom make? My bottom make is just the the thought process of how many living souls are <coughs> on a like highway or interstate at once. Moving at ridiculous speeds. Yeah. Yeah, well, especially which one? For me today. Which highway? <laughs> which highway? Well, for, for me today, eighty five goes all the way yeah. up to like Virginia. Seventy five 
made me want to just stop driving. I was literally stuck in like, go stop, go stop for mm. forty five minutes. Which I'll bring in a point in that the the way that transportation is right now is so unbelievably effed up. Yeah. Because why is there not a big ass train with like a bar on it, a fucking Starbucks, mm-hmm. boom boom. There will be people that still want to drive their car and go to work, blah, blah, blah. But there will be people who will be plenty fine driving to the station, hopping on the train, chopping it up with whoever, maybe having a drink, having some coffee, typing up whatever they need to type up before they get to work. Boom, boom. Getting there and then getting on the train and coming home. Mm-hmm. Just like back in the day, you used to have the streetcar. People hop on a streetcar. You talk to someone for a little bit. You get off. Boom, boom. And then it would eliminate so many people who are driving. So then the roads would be bigger for people who are driving. They have a space. But there's, like, if you think about it, all those people, everyone's in this little box, and they're all inching to get to wherever they need to go, Mm -hmm. and everyone's mad, no one's having a good time, no one's conversing. Like you said, how many people are on the road? If we were all on a train right now, how many conversations could you have had in this hour that it took to get everyone home, or whatever? See, but the problem is now it's commercialized, and you have to pay to ride the bus. Yeah, 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 I understand that, but I'm just, but... But even more to that, then they want everyone to buy their car. You have car insurance. Mm-hmm. Everyone has this. Oh, there's an accident. That causes that. Boom, Too boom. much money on the road. And at the same time, if you really think about it, why would they really care if there's traffic or not? Because the people who, the people who are like who have a lot of money can fly in a helicopter. They can or they can. They have other maneuvers. I'm sure there's underground passages, right? And then on the other side, you losing an hour of your life. Is it doesn't hurt any none of them who are making the money give a shit about that. They're like, I right, bet that dude's one hour closer to dying. You know what I mean? And then another dude will take his place and blah 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 for the money thing. You already got a replacement. Yeah, you know, there is <laughs> one, bro. Everywhere, everywhere, there's always a replacement for some in some way. They're like, and that's really enterprise. That's really their whole thing. Is really like co- a constant competition for the next spot. And if you don't make it to the next spot, there's not a spot for you anymore. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like everyone's in their cars, everyone's in there, everyone's alone. And instead of like having a, a community thing that you can hop on and go, and maybe it does cost like a dollar to get on. But at the same time, it's like it'll be cheaper than gas, cheaper than the car note, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And there's a bunch of people that would rather sit and chat with someone or sit and write on, read their book and drink a coffee on their way to work than have to sit in like in traffic and hit up their pedals and worry about getting there on time and blah 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 about dying. there is yeah. going to be someone who's going to be like no I want to be in my car I want to drive 85 and I want to just whip to work and there's going to be that's fine but then the people there's going to be an open road for people to do that there's going to be a personal thing but like you said well, you know don't they don't they do it, that in like either China or Japan Japan yeah mm-hmm. I don't know do they Pretty sure they have like the bullet, like trains. bullet trains. Disney, yeah. oh yeah, Disney literally has monorail. Yeah. They go to all the parks. They have a gondola that goes from one hotel to the park. Now they got rope. They got That's boats. What... You can go from one side of the thing to the other. Now, obviously, they've built these things and whatever. But at the same time, like Disney, you know, Chicago's the got the river in there. Up. You can do it in things mm-hmm. where it's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they have ferries too, but they're just expensive. Yeah, yeah, but literally, uh, like yeah. real transportation. That's but the, what do they want to do? They want you to pay money they want you to well they'd rather have you you have a car and waste insurance money on it and waste gas on it every day they'd rather you waste a month uh an hour of your life a day we need a revolution you know so (laughs) but yeah you know but instead but yeah if it was actually supposed it was actually here to create like better human experience and better as a humanity as a, a people then yes, there'd be things like that, and blah blah blah. And people will be the people in the top would be all people who have like these innovative ideas to do this. But the how you on the top have all the innovative ideas to make more money and to keep it like it is and to keep us, you know, individual like taxes and you got everyone's got to have a house and a car and blah blah blah. blah. And some people aren't just some people you're not gonna get it and some people you are and blah blah blah. You know, and it's actually not help. Like, there's no reason why like people should be like hungry in this country, when you got restaurants and shit throwing food away every day. You know, and then Facts. regardless of the other, now you now you can talk about the other countries, but at least in this country, you know what I mean. And still, and then you, they're obviously they're in because you got a 400 pound person over there, you got a malnourished person with no help on the street over here. You know, and it's like, I don't know, it's tough. What was the main thing that you brought up? Uh, 
just how many people were on the road. Mm-hmm. There's definitely a lot of people. There's definitely a lot of souls. A Billions lot of people. Of souls. And there could be at least the at least fifty percent of them will want to be on a place where they can meet other people or they can just chill and they can <coughs> they can be brought to work instead of having to go to work. Mm-hmm. You know? Like back in the day when it was like people needed people to work, they would pull up and be like, All right, who needs it like whatever? And it was like in one end it was fucked because that was the only way to get jobs. On the other end it's like they know they need people and they're coming to get you to whatever. You don't got to get over yeah, here. You don't got to get here to work. You know? Like, everyone should have their gas, everything covered to get there. At the very least, depending on what the thing is. You know what I mean? And it's like, but they don't. You know? They don't get this extra, like, people, like, I see people going to work, taking Ubers. And it's like, you're working a $14 an hour job and you just took a $40 Uber here and back. Like, Bro, yeah. that's four hours of your life that you can't get back, and that that's until you start making money, and then you gotta take out taxes and everything after that. Like, bro, what are we like? This nothing. you either gotta find a new job or you gotta find some other way to get here that's not that because that's not benefiting you at all. Mm-hmm. You know, now there's some people who might have caught a DUI, they have to do it for some time or blah blah blah, and that's a different story. But someone who's like doesn't doesn't have a car, they get a job far away and blah, and that's the lady there. Thing. It's like why? Like you can't do that now. If you make like fifty an hour, okay, you know it's one hour of work to take the Uber now. But if you only make fit, you make fifteen, twenty, whatever. Like you're not. That's so much of your money already. Then you still got to eat today, you know. And then you got to pay your cost of living today. You know what I mean? Like easily stuck in a trap that way. So yep. what's your estimate? I mean, what of how many people are on the road? The which, but which one? Eighty five, seventy five, seventy five. In Georgia alone, or in all the states, because well, that's so many people a day on that job. Yeah, and it was just that thought process. Goes through many down. states, so many things. Millions like what's that one that goes all the way across? Twenty? No. Uh, Twenty does, and then so does one, uh, one for New Jersey. For New Jersey, forty. Or, like up there, yeah, something like that. There's one where it's like you can take this. You said it when we were going up to Maryland. So you can take this all the way. I think it was 40. 40, yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah. One of those. That's so long. Like, there's so many people on that job every day. Mm-hmm. At least, like... I-40. How many... Okay, how many people are in America? 500 million. I think it's, like, 400. We looked it up in one of the podcasts, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> and how many major highways are there? <coughs> Probably a lot. In I would say... For about- U.S. highways... Like U.S. I like, or interstate, interstate. Well, that's well, that's the what is it? What are you talking about? 30. Interstates, or just like highways around the city. Even well, so, anyway, it's gonna be thousands of yeah. people around the city. I would say a million. That's a, a like. Let's say Atlanta. Yeah. Let's so, just say Atlanta. Make it simple. Where this question popped in my head, right? To be a lot. To be specific, was I? It was I was literally on the phone with you, or with Eddie, and realized that I was driving very Atlanta style and had just like basically was about to miss my turn and just like whipped in and made the person give it to me. Yeah. I was just like, damn, I feel like the asshole. Like, you know, I actually had a conversation with Keita about that. And it was this thing where when we go to, uh, you know, Chick-fil-A has like those double lines at a lot of them. And the entrance at the one near our house is like, it's like, not really two cars could fit in it, but it's pretty wide. But, like, if you go in the middle of it, a car can't get around you. So when I pull up into it, I I st- like I don't care if it's three cars ahead of me. If it's, like, only one or two, I'll just go up. But if it's, like, any more than, like, three in each lane, I pull up and I stop right at the gate. And I wait to see which one's going to go, and then I go in it. And she was saying, like, oh, that's like, a D, that's, like, a D move. But I was like, nah, because at the end of the day, like, if – if I go in the lane that has, like, three cars, right, and I'm the fourth now, and the next car has three cars, and, like, let's say, like, tons of people pull up in that lane, right? None, I, I maybe I'm wrong, but none of those people, I think, who pull up, who see that you're in that spot, if they all were going, like, they get to go through, go through, none of those people who've been like, oh, I just got in the line and you've been in here, none of those people are going to let me in. Honestly, like, I really don't think they will. So in my mind, it's it. like, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm going to, I don't really, like, part of it is like, it's unfortunate, but I started, part of it is like, I don't care to like, be like, oh, how do you feel about it? Because I know you would, you're not going to do the right thing. 
you're not gonna let me in. Yeah. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here until I figure out which lane I want to go in. Then I'm gonna go in my lane. And I really don't care how anybody feels about it because it's like you're not gonna let me in. You, you, they'll never give it to me. They'll never give it to you. I would say it's like one out of like a thousand. We'll be like, Maybe. oh, he's been here for a while. Yeah, and that's only yeah. after he's seen you get passed by like seven or eight cars already. Yeah. <laughs> Dude got his food and went back around. Just to let you in. <laughs> fixed, a, fixed a problem, went back around again, yeah. just decided he wanted a milkshake, and it yeah. was like, or didn't get any you're sauce. still here. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's just like, uh, one of the times I actually did, like, the lane, I picked the lane, it was moving way too slow, and the person, so, okay, you got like four cars, four cars. The person who I let in, and he went to the next lane, like, they, the girl, like, walked to his car and was serving him. Yet there's three cars missing in front of him because the lady already took all the order. And I'm still waiting like three cars back. And I had been there before that guy. So I just swerved on right in front of him, went in front of him. So they had to take me next. And now I'm in front of the line. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like if you don't take it, it's like the opportunities that are there, you just got to take them because nobody's going to give it to you. And it, one of the things is like we were pulling up at a yellow light. And it was like I, I despise when people slow down before it's really even yellow just because you're crossing an intersection like drop five miles per hour fine but like anything more than that i'm like you are a piece of shit like honestly like that's how i feel because it's like why are you doing that you're actually slowing down everything because there was a dude in front of me if their brakes aren't great if their brakes aren't great you know i guess i can give them the pass but if if you're already gonna have to (laughs) you should have to have there should be a lot of you have to put like a thing on your like on the yeah. back, my brakes aren't good. Yeah. That way, you get like a warning. <laughs> so, just put all the specs of your car. That yeah, way, exactly. everybody knows that, exactly what you're In this day with. and age, bro, there is no way why we shouldn't have on the back of the car, like a fucking on your fucking iPad that they got Scan. next to you. You can set a bunch of precursors. Like, why did you so do it's that? Like, yeah, you could be like, boom, like I'm I'm, I'm merging right or this yeah. or that. You can have your presets. Some people probably have more or worse presets than others or whatever. <laughs> But that, where it's like, okay, my so, yeah, brakes, we're we're, light up, we're pulling right up ahead. to this thing, and maybe he has bad brakes, but it's not even yellow yet. He starts slowing down. So I re- it's a two-lane turn, so I realize, oh, he's slowing down, but I know that it's going to turn yellow soon because of how many cars already went ahead of mm-hmm. us, and we were, like, kind of far back. It wasn't, like, a straight line with this bunch of cars. It was, like, a bunch of cars, and we're pulling up to it. Mm-hmm. So he starts slowing down, so I'm like, oh, shit, he's slowing down. I, gotta, I, I didn't have to, like, swerve around him. It wasn't like that, but I was like, oh, he's slowing down. If I don't get around him, I'm going to miss it. So by the time I get around him, it's like yellow and I'm like trying to push it. But I realize at this point I'm going to run it if I get there. And then I have to like send, not really slam on the brakes, but like pretty forcefully hit the brakes. And then I'm just like, my attitude is just like, fuck that guy. Cause like that guy so what caused me to miss the light. He was, he didn't <laughs> have to slam on his brakes. Cause he no. stopped early. No, but he stopped did. early. He started slowing down when it was and still And y'all green. reached the same result. Exactly. But in my in my mentality, if I was in front of him, I would have got through the light with no problem. Yeah, that's because you would have been. Yeah, but he slowed down in front of me when it was still green, and that's why I was like, "Screw him!" Because if it was yellow, okay, it's fair. Yellow, you slow down. Maybe he just knew that was a quick light. Yeah, but still, push it. I could I could have made it. I but the thing is this: some people don't have. I mean, this may be disrespectful, but some people don't have the same sense of urgency. I don't want to say to live. I'm going to say it. Some people don't have the same sense of urgency to live. Well, it also depends on where you're going, though. Because, like, I know when, I, when I'm when i coming back, I'm not... My drive home, I am I literally drive, like, a normal civilian. Yeah. Drive there, I'm fucking... You got a place to be Fast at and time. Furious 25. Yeah. You got to get there but, at the same time. Yeah, and it was, a, it was, was a small d- window because it wasn't a lot of time. But in that case, when I'm like that, I'm getting out the way. I've even been on one-lane yeah. roads knowing that I am gonna slow this person down because i'm not trying to push it and they're riding my and i just move i literally move into like the if i find like a grass that i can move into Uh, safely i'll move into it to let him pass just so i can like chill and have my time and i'm not holding this guy up because why do i gotta hold this guy up because i want to take my time that's not right Well, so like my only problem with that is that like especially on the interstate not so much on like just the regular highways it's like, I'll be in the left lane, right? And then I'll see people, like, a whole bunch of people, like, behind me. I'm like, I bet, let me get over. And as I turn my signal on, like, the guy, like, four cars back, 
it's over. Zoom wants the gun. Yeah. 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 And then the next guy behind him, zoom, yeah, zoom, yeah, yeah, zoom. Yeah. I'm like, yo, if you just let me get over, yeah. everyone can go. By that point, it's like they they made their choice. They went. They got what they wanted. Right. You know what I mean, especially in the interstate because you have more leeway. On the highway, you have more leeway to push. Like when you're when it's the speed limit is 35, 45, you really can't. On a highway, when it's 70, I can get to 90 just for a few seconds just to, like, get around. But from 35 to 55, that's pretty, pretty I think big. They just, I think they're about to make it, like, a law in Florida that you can't cruise in the left lane. Like, you have to, like, you can't cruise, like, you can't go speed limit or whatever. Yeah, they go. Well, then why do you have the speed limit? I know. They should, like, actually have real speed limits, like... This you can lane, go lane, ninety lane. mile up to ninety. If you go over ninety, we're gonna fucking pull you over. And you go fucking eighty eight, eight. You wanna push it, but if you at ninety, okay, they can get you. But at least it's like, all right, this lane I can go this fast. People are gonna go like in the sixties in this lane, and this lane is gonna be like the forty five because they're trying to merge out. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of go. And trucks should not be allowed to. They should have to either move over and then move back if they're trying to get out away from another truck. Or they should have to stick in one lane because there's no there's no way that two trucks should be able to go like this, sit going the same distance, and have all these people losing their life behind them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like definitely not. That's just definitely fucked up. But like I said, they don't give a shit if you lose an hour of your life. Mm-hmm. And yeah, be, but the see, problem is, people who but, don't care about yeah, the hours I think that, in their life. That ping, that ping when you said losing your life behind the drugs, I, I, it just dawned on me. Like I don't consider that losing my life but it's also what i do while i'm driving it depends on what you're doing like if you like say like it's your son's birthday and the party's going on and you had to get the cake and you're stuck behind the person you are literally losing the moments that you could but but there might be a reason why you're stuck so it's your perspective if if you if like if this if i'm never stuck behind trucks and i finally get stuck behind a truck for one time i'm like "Ah!" like there's probably a reason you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like if you got to commute every day. And there's really, it's it's literally like in my mind, there are, I feel like there are truck drivers who their job, there's nothing in the truck. But they're literally, tra- they're literally pace cars. Like, boom, put them out. They go a certain speed. You know what I mean? And then like what happens, they move over and then they let all these people go. It's literally a pace car. All right, move over. So it could be like. Whether it's super pertained to one individual on the highway or just groups of people, where it's like maybe it's just a unspoken traffic control or whatever, you know what I mean? But like, there's multiple times on the road where you're like, why are we not moving or why is it going so slow? And then all of a sudden, like you're moving, mm-hmm. you're like, where was? The, there's no accident. There's no whatever. It's all where, the same people. But it's really one person or two people going the same speed in the lane and not letting anyone pass or blah blah blah. And things like that's really a lot of traffic yeah. or someone who's looking at their phone not knowing what they so doing. our solution i don't know if you came up with this or i came up with this but one of us did is a bubble gun see <laughs> oh, in yeah. a future world or a movie or some short or something what it'd be is a bubble gum bubble gun and you if someone does some like well, are we swearing i don't even know if we're swearing. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know, sometimes it's when somebody it. does something that you're just like that is Douchebaggery. I don't give a fuck. Douchebaggery. <laughs> you hit him with the bubble gum. Bubble gum. It takes 10 minutes for the bubble to rise to like the platform way above. Cause it, so you get to sit and think about what just happened. And then at maybe on your way up, it replays the video of why you got bubble gunned. And if you think it's unfair, you appeal it. And if you win the appeal, then the other person who bubble gunned you goes up for 20 minutes. So they lose double the time that you, you lost. Someone in traffic, like when there's like an old lady in front of me, she's taking too long. Hit her with the bubble gun, send her up, <laughs> <laughs> nice and calm, and it takes you back down later. So I can get on. With That's my just day. going slow in the speed lane. Though. Yeah, no, because yeah. if you go speed limit, I'm like you're a piece of shit. But I'm like that's fine because of speed limit. But if you go anything under the speed limit, or it takes you longer than like six to ten seconds to get to speed limit. I just want to smack the shit out of you and be like, what is wrong with you? Because, like, I turned out the neighborhood and there's a car that's taking the whole way till you get to the roundabout to get to speed limit. By the time they get to speed limit, they're slowing down. And I was like, you, like, are a horrible person. Like, you are exactly what's wrong with the world. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. It's like, get out of the way. Like, bubble gun. Send them up. Just so, so they can realize. I think we did. We did have the one thing we said where it was like, uh, 
a driving test, but then like the social Advanced. the uh, yeah. social awareness driving test as mm-hmm. well as the actual vehicle mechanics. Yeah. 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 You gotta get a bubble gun test also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, to make sure you're worthy. You, you're still, you also have to qualify to get a bubble gun. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta take a test. Like, in which it's, scenario do you bubble gun this person or do you? Not? It's like the Pokemon Go thing. You gotta be like level four. Yeah. yeah, it's like you have played the game enough to know that you can make good stuff. That was the right Because yeah. 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 if somebody is yeah. being a detriment, in all seriousness, if somebody's being a detriment to not just yourself but society in a whole, doesn't have to be like a grand scheme, but even like a couple people. I just feel like those people, like, I'm not saying you just remove them from existence because that's how, that's horrible. But to just be like, let's put you in time out because, like, if it's kindergarten, this kid is ruining it for everyone else by throwing blocks at everyone. Let's move them over here so everyone else can play and this kid can think about what they did and how they got into this spot. So, I don't know. But it is a, it is a balance in a way because, so like, one person can be late something. One person could have nowhere to be. You know, and it's a thing, but at the yeah. same time, it's just like if you're the person in the speed lane with nowhere to be, get out, the get way. over. Yeah, you know what I mean. And if you're the person who's rushing, don't try to like kill everyone on the highway. Yeah, but they end up doing that because Dude. no one's helping. Oh my them god, out, I know? almost lost. I I swear, I I do not like driving because like when I get when I'm mad and I'm in the car, I'm just it's nothing that I'm just so pissed off. I'm one of the times I'm driving down this road, this guy's going under speed limit. I'm like, I get to a point where I'm just like, I'm riding him. Because I try to do that thing where I pull up on him. So they look in their rear view, they see a car really close and they speed up. And then I'll back off and I'll kind of like do that a little bit. So that doesn't work. So I'm, I'm literally honking, I honk him at, a, at him a couple times. He's going like five to 10 under depending on the turns, right? If it's a turn, he's going 10 under. If it's a straight, he's going five under. I'm honking at him and I'm looking in his little rear view to see if he'll look at me. Because I just want to make eye contact so he can just see the fuck you in my eyes. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> So I'm looking at this guy, and he's like, he has no acknowledgement at all. Doesn't look at me once, which pisses me off even more because I wanted it. I was like, <laughs> motherfucker, look at me. And I'm stuck behind him for like five minutes. This huge line behind me, just going under speed limit. Every I'm like, at some point, I'm holding the horn for like thirty seconds, just like, mm, just totally obnoxious and ignorant. But I don't give a fuck. So I did it. So in case this guy's matter. wondering and he sees this podcast, Jason's. Uh, I really hope when the future you get bubble. XW- Two five six nine six eight six eight seven, yeah yeah six eight. So I wish and I, like those are the moments I just wish we had the bubble gun because I would love to send them up because I just want that <laughs> and I hope I could send a message. I'd be like like the reason I bubble gunned you is Get because gum you scrub. are making the world a worse oh. place passively. If you don't really know it because you're not smart enough to realize it, but you're making the world worse. Passively. I think it's because com- really comes down to the common courtesy of other people. Yeah, and it's like I might not be in a rush, but this might person might be. Maybe so I gotta pee. If I notice that, I should just get out the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But not everyone's thinking like that because people are like this, texting, looking mm-hmm. up, subconscious driving. Their soul got them there all the way. They didn't even look at the road yeah. once. <laughs> you know. Sometimes I get like that, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. It Unless, happens. But it only it's not because I'm texting to like. Snapchat or Instagram or whatever it's cause I'm trying to see where the hell I'm at so I can kind of transfer this traffic yeah yeah there you go you know I don't know I hate driving if it was up to me like when we have enough money I'm literally getting a driver yes but there you go you hate driving and if you need to go to Atlanta if there's a nice train you can get on see I would rather do that you hop on the train I feel like there needs to be like the, the next transportation should be something similar to a train but it's it oh. has like individual on and off totally so all like opposite direction but that video i think i sent it to you too where it's like the guys who have like the wind things like they have one on their arm and on their legs it's like two on their legs wingsuit no not the wingsuit it's like a wind thing it's like it looks like the mega man outfit oh and they yeah, fly yeah, yeah. it's loud as hell you but. could have what like you're saying engine. you could have like in the trains you know how the trains are the connectors so in between the connectors, you have this little platform and it's a thing. And at whatever track you have the thing on, you have a thing where it can connect to another track. 
right? As you're going, you can just go with the tracks going parallel, mm-hmm. and then it just kind of swings off. Magnets. And then, then it slows down. Madness, yeah. And then it slows into whatever train. The train's still going, but this stop happened. Yeah. yeah. And then the other people who are hopping on. It's always the one in, in the back. That, they get in that car, and it goes whoop, and hops in. The Thomas train in. That's yeah, it. just yeah. like that. Exactly. And then they hop in, you, it keeps going. Yeah. And it's just literally like, That's even exactly like the gondola ride, where yeah. it's like, it's constant movement. Never stop. But something like that, yeah, exactly. Where it's like, doesn't inconvenience the people on the train to get on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you can get off whenever you want. Almost like yeah. the uh, fast lane like exits. Mm-hmm. It's like the fast lane still goes, but you can exit off and people hop on. <coughs> but yeah, that would be lit. But and exactly, if we took a group of smart fucking people, we would create this by the end of the next year. <laughs> it would be able to really be ready. It would, maybe it won't be built, but we'd have the idea mm-hmm. to be able to at least try some things and shit like that. You know what I mean? My thing's falling off here. Oh, <laughs> I was quite. I was trying I was to think what you like. What yeah. the most like? It's too far away, so I'm getting more resistance because this glass is too twice farther. Than... So why Jason fiddles around with that? Um, Did you this figure out? I remember my topic, but this isn't my topic okay. I want to ask right now. Do y'all think anyone uh, has never had to stop at a red light? Like mm. for their whole Ooh. life, they just ran everyone mm. and got away with it. No, no, no. He's saying like, that they're like always, always green. hitting green lights. No, mm-hmm. has to be at least one. You think person. there's someone? Oh, yeah. At least one. Oh, someone. Yeah, someone's got the switch, bro. <laughs> Every time they comes, the RF chip goes Shit, off. We can We grew up in Maryland. I've seen that. Yeah, fact that is true. <laughs> I've seen them cars just and they it's, go right there. Yeah, they go through. And I, you know, but That's, without one of those, a normal civilian. Has to no. be one. Has to be one. No fucking chance a normal I mean, civilian. I'm thinking, bro. They try to slow your ass down every I'm second. I'm thinking they can get. out, like in the in the middle of America's well, somewhere. Only one stoplight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's only radiator springs. It's always yeah. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Like, okay, you but, might be able to find some jank town that has just a yellow blinker. <laughs> it would never be red. Yeah, but my topic was. Um, what do you, what is your opinion on the American institution system? Mm. What, is the, what is the institution like? Cur- like cr- like cr- uh, prison? correction correction centers and stuff. Oh, yeah, slavery. Yeah, fucked up. Because it's like it's supposed to be like a rehabilitation center, right? But well, they don't give you the banning books. They don't give you stuff to actually give you a set of tools to be able to move on with your life. They just keep bringing you down in the same system because they want to give, want to take your money. They want to take your life. They want to do whatever they can to make you a slave so you have to work on the roads. They work for cash. like, what, 40 cents an hour? Yeah, especially like in this day and age. Well, have you seen that show where the dude went to like the worst and deadliest prisons? I used to yeah. watch that. Yeah. yeah. Like it's always, that. It always intrigues you. The thing, the thing I would, sorry to cut you off, but I would say... That it really comes down to the fact that they don't want the prisons empty. They want the prisons full. Every bed needs a person in it. Every blah, blah, blah. So that mentality, like it's a hotel, you need to fill every room. Versus like, we don't want to have anyone in here. <laughs> like the goal is to have only the select few people that really just did something heinous in here. You know, but like you said, they want your money, blah, blah, blah little drug crime they're gonna throw you in there anything you blah, blah, blah. and then now you're in there with all these other people and then you when you come out you're more inclined to do something because you're changed or whatever blah 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 and yeah there's so many different there's so many things about that job. have you all seen the uh what was it it's the prison project but is it it's not like manhattan it's uh stanford i think it's the stanford, stanford. prison project that's the one where they locked the yeah, people they, in Yeah, they literally guards. flipped a coin on who was a guard and yeah. who was a prisoner. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. the people just abused their power like ridiculous. Um, instantly. Yeah. Instantaneously. Yeah. Because thing- you're treating another human being like an animal. That no matter how you look at it. Even if you're a nice guard, you're treating him like a pet. But you know what the craziest part or about animal. You know what yeah. the craziest part about the guard thing is? Is that they're also in prison? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. And yeah, they get to go home, and they said they don't have to work every blah blah blah. But their life 40, is prison. Forty as hours well. a week. You know, you gotta 
walk you gotta walk these in these walls you gotta every time you go from here you gotta close the door behind you like don't well, you're literally you know and then yeah you get put in that position there's gonna be people who abuse that junk like lick their lips for the power you know there's gonna be some people who <laughs> lick like their lips for the power yeah <laughs> mm. interesting analogy you know Sometimes orgy is required in prison. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't know when I slid. Yeah, <laughs> you got the, uh, you got like the guards, like with, you know, it's like the guard gets this person pregnant and blah blah. blah. There's so much shit that goes on in there, man. And nowadays, you can like say that you're not. You can, I, I'm a girl now, <laughs> and they just throw them in the girl. It's like, dude. But still, it, no at the end actually, day, it no comes down way. to the fact that they actually no, no not way anymore. Way and that. that's and that's. They start. Part of well, the we're also problem. some time in now from this thing. But yeah. when it first started, yeah, no way. Does that happen? Yes, yes. There's a couple. It's literally a story about how dude got put into one and got someone pregnant. <laughs> like, Power play, dude. Yeah, he really finessed. You got to give him props. She. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but at the um, end of the day, it comes down to I think at the end of the day, my opinion is that the fact that they want them full, not empty, is everything you need to know. What's well, because it's a business. Yeah, private entity actually. Yeah. Private. What they make it, money. Right? I mean, they make what what a X Billions. amount of dollars on heads per head they put in there, or, mm-hmm. and yeah. then like I think they pay feed them with like two dollars and like thirteen cents or something like that. Maybe that's the thing in the server mail. Yeah, maybe. that's the server mail. Like, it probably is the same. That's probably that. why it is. Like, we'll give the servers exactly what we give the prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna look that I up. saw this thing on Reddit where it was uh, a warden who had built a garden. There was this whole lot of empty space. And he was like, well, I'm going to give my prisoners something to do, and we're going to eat off the garden. Cut, like, I want to say the number was like 85% of food costs. Mm. And they probably got better food, Loki. Then looked at the spot next to it. Was like, all right, well, we're gonna get chickens. And this is all of the prisoners sitting there running this garden, running the chickens, self sufficient. It's Loki, kind of cool. Everyone, I, all of them can do it. All of them can do it. They choose not to. Facts. That's the world, though. That's yes. just people in general. Everybody could be like, no. <laughs> Not buying it. Yeah. Not paying my taxes. Not going to work. X. But we're not going to fight about it. You're just going to give us the food. And we either all die or we all live. Yeah. We should just not eat until the we grow up. The problem is if like, <laughs> you start like a Facebook with you the only guy show up. <laughs> you know? And that's what like I wanted like when you guys left. like I wanted to have like the whole place walk out. And that's my that was my dream. I'm going on the hunger strike. I was like, let's all just like like stand for something together, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And then it was like, <laughs> what happens? One person does it, but it was different. Like if I would just done it, if I just walked out like picket fence, I like you're fired. <laughs> you know Yo, mean? how no long? Following you. How long do you think you could live off only drinking fluids, but like you can make smoothies? I'm not sure. Actually. You mean like in terms of mindset or in terms of literal, like? Uh, which one do you think fails first? Mindset. Okay. It's, you could definitely. The, I mean, the it, they the, can keep the people sending. in a coma alive through fluids. Yeah, true. So you can live a long time. Yeah, you can live until you die. You know. I kind of want to stop eating. I think it depends. I think it depends. Do you win the mental battle of that now? Like, because theoretically, you might. Theoretically, everything that tells us that we need to eat is just because someone told us that. And then we have this feeling that we have put food in our... And just like the nicotine... Once Schrodinger. You, once you hit the... Like, how hard is it for y'all to stop the junk? Now, I'm still smoking nicotine. I'm just smoking the herd. But still, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 you know, yeah. In that sense of... But the device, the device, right. like, you got, like, it's hard to cut it because now it's been in your thing for so long your routine so now if but if you took time away with like you have to win the mental battle of beating it Mm -hmm. and once you do that what does it look like or do you never beat the battle and if you don't beat it then did you need to beat it yeah so things like that so it's like so i was like so i don't know i don't know i feel like i could i feel like you'd either die or you would live a long time Mm -hmm. i I saw this thing about a 
I don't even know if it's real or not, but a Russian scientist apparently... I saw this before, so I don't know. But they were digging into the ice and they found some sort of, like, bacteria in the ice. And the bacteria made plants and animals live longer than, like, they normally would. So he, like, injected it in himself and he, like, hasn't been sick in, like, two years. It's, like, old, old guy. So it's, like, it was, like, 1.5 million or something years old stuck in the ice still alive because it was i guess so cold or so deep or whatever it was and like, i don't believe they're the, that old on the earth yeah i, I put a how lot how old do you think it. the earth is i don't know but it, i don't think it's 1.5 million mm. well okay in theory they say a million? You mean billion, no million no no one point was the bacteria was at least at least million. the earth we stand on like you the actual I mean? planet well they say like, this okay they say this. They say that it took two billion years from us, like whatever, whatever. I'll, I'll say a speck of dust, but I really don't know how a planet is formed. Let's just say a speck of dust, just to make a timeline. So one, it took two billion years. I think it's two billion years to get from a speck of dust to where we are right now. That's what they say, right? Now the universe they say is thirteen billion years old. How they measure that, don't know. But in theory, then, in that case, our existence today happened to another planet. 11 billion years ago meaning that there could be a species that's 11 billion years more advanced than us today and so on and so forth if if all that See, stands but, true like i it, and i'm not even gonna touch space because technically there is no time and space however on <laughs> earth <laughs> the world <laughs> Use my binoculars, see if I can find it. <laughs> you see the time? <laughs> What's happening? <Go> ahead. <laughs> the world we stand on. <laughs> the time you gotta go work somewhere else? <laughs> Honestly, right. dude, I don't I'm even kidding. know I'm if playing, the... Playing. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you forget about working until you said yeah, that. Right. Oh, yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. I didn't I even say work. it like that, but yeah. it's in the sense of, like, somewhere to be at a time. I gotta wake up at 7 a.m. But, you guys yeah, me too. Um, so really? time is real. So, so <laughs> we'll play chess then. <laughs> Time is real because I gotta wake up. I gotta like, be driving. <laughs> I don't think I gotta drive. I'm joking, no, I, was playing I won't be driving at eight though. Yeah. <laughs> I will also still be driving. Actually, I'm gonna eight. I'm gonna be mixing my album tomorrow. More of it. I've done seven songs. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna still be driving yeah. at eight o'clock though. That's it. I'm gonna I don't remember doing any of them. Twenty to nine. Do it so early in the morning. Um, I don't think that space is real. I'm not touching that. I think it's a projection. No, I so, uh, I found out that prisoners get 50 bucks a day, pretty much, spent on them. In Mississippi. Spent on them? Yeah. Okay. So, they cost in Mississippi. 50 bucks. How much did it cost them to stay there? <laughs> like, 50 bucks? That's how much they get spent. How much spent does the state make off of them? That's food, probably, like, some, like, hygiene stuff. And they probably I think they have to get that through commissary. They spend their own money. To get, like, they, they provide paper? you some stuff. Somewhere. They have to provide you some stuff. Oh, okay. Probably toilet paper. <laughs> just bare like, minimum. It's like in school yeah. when you used to get the just cheese sandwich. Uh, <laughs> dude, I felt so, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's what I was telling him. Like, that's for you punishment, bro. Like, you F up. Just get, like, a but, cheese dude, sandwich. But, dude, I'm not going to lie, bro. When I was in school, I never had to eat the cheese sandwich because the lunch ladies always knew I was good yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> what if you got the cheese sandwich when you got bubble gunned? <laughs> you just get a cheese sandwich <laughs> with a bow. Oh, you terrible. gotta eat the cheese sandwich. You <laughs> to get that, out. Yeah. But I'm lactose That's tolerant. That's how you get out earlier. Just tolerate. You don't gotta wait ten minutes if you eat the cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that that should be the choice. You have a choice. <laughs> There's something you can do to get out of it. Tolerate, bro. <laughs> just tolerate. It. Just tolerate. It. Imagine like you haven't gotten bubbled in a while. A craft single, is, like moldy and everything. Wonder yeah. bread and a craft single. No, it should just be like a random food across, like it's a, a, a real. No, no, no. It's a real, <laughs> real food from the across the planet. It's a dish, like a random dish. You take all the dishes in the entire world, throw them in a big randomizer, and you randomize it. And whatever the dish is, you have to eat it. If not, you gotta wait. So you cook anything. What if you're allergic? It's tolerated. <laughs> no, <laughs> you gotta wait ten minutes. Die at the will. Yeah, you gotta wait. If we you got, got bubble gum, this is probably. Uh, bubble gum. Try some bubble gum to <laughs> block your <laughs> whatever it is. You can eat peanuts for the next 30 minutes if you eat this bubble gum. Facts. On some Willy Wonka shit. Yeah. It's an allergy free zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Jason. Yeah. 
Did that have a topic? I feel like I brought up a couple. Just wasn't direct about it. Lame. You got a bottom I mic? thought I said space isn't real. You said you didn't want to touch on it. <laughs> you got a bottom mic? No. Just a topic. <laughs> a middle lick. I'm never on the back. You got a toe what? lick. <laughs> you guys don't want to touch you on the toes. space thing? You lick toe? <laughs> okay, this is a theory, right? I don't actually... I'm not going to say... I don't really believe... I only... I only believe in like three things total. Everything else I either know or I don't. This is something that I don't know. Uh, I look at the sky and I look at the stars. And like we're told that they're like really far away. And maybe they are. I don't know. But like theoretically speaking. Just theoretically. If the sky is a big projection. Like imagine it's like a big screen. And it's so advanced to the point like even when you put your binoculars to it. Right. Or your telescope. <laughs> you can actually zoom into the proje- projection, but it's really just a flat screen. But you could like zoom into the pixels. I mean, it, it, yo, okay, hold up. Remember, remember we were talking about that picture where you like zoom farther in, you see a picture farther. In? What if it's just like that, right? Just, just humor me. Well, literally speaking, though, that's is what it is because when you it's look at the see a star, yeah, you're watching light particles travel okay so so okay and so you are looking at it because that's how we're three-dimensional beings we perceive a two-dimensional world you're looking at a flat screen and pixels coming at it okay so 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 now imagine it's actually a flat screen and this is like or not quite a flat screen, but it, it, our visualization of it is actually like we look at the star like it's billions of miles away. But what if it's actually just like a couple hundred miles and they're all just a couple hundred miles and they're all just like little spaceships. And the Earth is actually the only planet in existence. And the sun is actually smaller than the Earth. But the sun moves like this. And the sun is like, uh, uh, you know, when you go on your lawn. Spotlight. Yeah. Yo, revolutionary concept. What if the earth was flat? No. <laughs> well, uh, so you know how when you shower your flowers? The earth is, like that? That you is. Seen a, you ever seen a snow globe? explain the entire <laughs> earth is flat theory. You know? <laughs> right there. That's what I was and thinking I when you said it. So I just imagine that. If the earth was the only actual thing. And it was flat. And it was flat. <laughs> you can't imagine it. Okay. You should do that. Okay, so when they say the earth is flat, what do you think that means? When they're, they're no, just trying you, to put, oh. you guys. Oh. So uh, like, how do you visualize what they think? I think of it like a disc. Like, a disc? like two-sided. So, the way I look at it is that, so instead of, like, when you have, like, the globe, right? And then they're like, you zoom in, and then we're on this, like, we're like, we're on this around the core, right? That's the land. My view on it, if the Earth is flat, would be... That it's a circle like this. We live on top. Think of a snow globe. Yeah, that's I've, the atmosphere I've, in the sky, been, and underneath of us would be like, uh, like the rock and the zoom core, zoom whatever. Zoom. Or on the flip side is in between is the rock and the core, and on the other side of the coin is another side of the world that they don't let us know about and talk about, and blah blah blah. And that's where all these crazy resources and blah blah blah. And maybe these people go when they leave this side of the coin. And then now they have a clone here, they go to somewhere else. And maybe it's the other side of the coin, you know? So I think in a perspective, I don't really view it as like a coin in space, but I view it as like a snow globe. Yeah, and thing. And, we're, and, like, and there is like an like edge, a and that the edge is the other side. And that's how I kind of look at it. So like when we look at the map, they have the map and they just stretch it to an oval, right? But it's like, that's this is our side of it. And then the other side is going to be whatever the hell is over there. So that's how I kind of look at it sometimes. But at the end of the day, what I came down and realized is one time I was walking, and I was like, if you take away the earth and take everything, and you, like, everything vanishes, I am in space right now. Wherever this is, I'm at some location somewhere, whether it's on the earth or in whatever space you are. So literally, if you're just walking and the shit just evaporated, I would still be right here. I feel like my soul will be right here, and we have to just go somewhere else, like transcend either whatever it is. But I would still be at for right now. I'm at this location at this time, and there's no time. But I'm at this location in this spot. If the Earth blew Ooh, up, but I'll there be is here. time. 
there is time yeah, you gotta go work tomorrow. I was like, <laughs> no, bro. Like, well, that's another thing. But time, <laughs> like, I is feel time a real thing. I think time, time is like, uh, time is just a uh, a way that you can stamp a moment that occurred or will occur or is occurring currently, and it's so. I think it's just like, just like for you guys, or like we have to go to work at whatever time. It's just like. They've created this thing where we all follow the same thing, but at the same time, it's like at this moment, there's going to be something that's happening, and then you're going to be like, "Oh, it was at 7 p.m. that that happened," but it didn't. The time is irrelevant. The numbers are irrelevant, the numbers but are irrelevant. the event it's still—it's just a moment. The the yes. concept of it's an event. The moment. concept of time is standardization. The actual application of time is literally just how it's created. Works. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like you have rulers to measure physical sh- things, and yeah. time measures essentially internal growth that reflects externally. Because at the end of the day, if you are like 10 years old, but you never age past 10, what are you? A relic. Or something like that. I'm just saying, overall, I think that, uh, first of all, I don't think most people can prove. 99% of the things that they say, most people can't prove it. I think that there's periods and question marks. Periods are for fools. Question marks are for those who seek knowledge. You know? Because if you put a period on it, you no longer think about it at all. And some are necessary to help you stabilize your mind. To be like, oh, this is my name, period. You stabilize your own existence in this world. Like, that you exist. Because I can be like, oh, I am Jason. I exist. If you don't have that, you have, if you have no periods at all, you have no stability through your existence. But you also have to remember that that definition of oh, I am Jason is also defined by someone else's period. Because to have a name, you have to be human under the constructs of what people say it is. Meaning that's limited to what people told you hum- humans can do. So the idea is to understand that there's these periods, but you put a period, you also have room for the question mark. To be like, oh, you don't know the actual answer. Because in reality, you don't know. And you can't prove it. I think that's the big thing. And I think that's the, what I like about the flat earth and circle thing. is I don't even know about any of that stuff. To me, it all just sounds like the government did that shit to distract people. But I don't know. But I think but it's interesting. Because yeah. an point can be a just, period uh, or a question. Yeah. So that's I just, an action. Yeah, it's an action. action. I think it's an action be distractions in that case. But I know. It's too far away. I gotta reach it so far. So just hold your mic. Yeah. <laughs> so I just think. Um, yeah, I, don't so know, I, I, I feel Jason's like Jason's having mic problems, but we love picking on Calvin. Okay. Yeah. The literally the first thing I said is how we're, we're in episode eleven and we still can't figure out how to set our stuff up. The problem is the table is the same. <laughs> Mine is never falling. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that makes sense. Good point. Yeah. We're going to have another new table soon. Show like that, right? Yeah. It's already in there. Just going to set it up. Wow. Yeah. Babes. Podcast yeah. moving on up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Satisfied. This might be the last one. I don't know if it will be the last one in this room. Pro, uh, probably. We do one not. more. Probably one more when we get back. When I get back. Sneak that one in. But, yeah. But yeah I think I'm, at the end of the day, my frustration, actually, is that I feel like I... Am an open and people say open minded all the time, but the, it's not true. But I feel like I'm a person who doesn't put the periods on everything, or even if I have a period in order to navigate the world, like to be like, oh, I live on planet Earth. You have a period. Exactly. Is it that time of the month? Time of existence. So because that's how you navigate so it's the just Earth. Stop. Huh. But most people, <laughs> most people, everything in their mind is a period, and they have no question marks. So I walk around life in a state of like there's no conversations to be had because most people aren't in a capacity to even be wanting to learn anything outside of what they already understand and people fight and die over the periods rather than being like oh well maybe you don't know because you can't prove it if you can prove it awesome if you can't then why not wonder that there could be more to it i think that's what limits humanity and every single thing that happens to people in the world like, not the specific events, but as a whole, it's our fault. Because we allow it. 
we allow the bull like you walk into a grocery store look for this section that says organic if that's the section that's organic meaning natural what's everything else go look how small that section is what's everything else but you buy it i buy it everyone buys it so they sell it to us if everyone just went and bought the organic section and that's it because we're like we want real food to nourish our body to nourish our children to nourish ourselves then that's all there would be so all this stuff it's every single thing that's the bad things that happen to us in a society individually you can't say like you can't say like when you pulled out your car and you got hit by a car it's your fault like every bad thing that happens to you but as a society all the terrible things that happen it's our fault because we allow it war is our fault because we allow it every single thing if we had the actual fight and the will to be like oh i don't we don't want this for our future then we wouldn't we wouldn't have it if everyone stopped buying anything that was harmful on a large scale they wouldn't sell it because no one would buy it we end up at ollie's and then be gone where everything else ends up that no one buys you know what i mean so in my mind i have a i think i have a slightly pessimistic outlook just because i feel like i walk around like <laughs> okay it's so frustrating because i just feel like there's no conversations people don't want to have conversations yeah everybody's so wrapped up in it and everyone has they have the periods you have like this is all you are so people can't even fathom the fact of like what look what's in the sky well actually i this kind of brings me to a thought uh someone they're talking about how like tv shows and like movies they'll have like people walking down the street in like whatever but like no movies or whatever depicts how actual society is where everyone's just on their phone that should be the movie yeah. they're literally like everyone like you're walking down the street we're talking and they're like whatever's going on in the movie and then like everyone else is just on their phone that should be the thing but it's not it's like people walking and talking blah 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 but reality is like you go to a subway not subway like eat fresh but the subway that you ride that there's everyone's on their phone everyone's consuming and whatever is in front of, not looking what's in front of them and you know that that's part of it I think because then runs and then once they open up their phone then they're targeted like you said and everyone gets targeted with their little things and, and they get sucked in and they get sucked in and whatever you might have went to actually go do originally you didn't do or whatever you get sucked into some other thing and then you look at it and you see someone die and you now you look up and you like you just watch someone die so now you're like feeling sad you know instead you could have just watched the butterfly fly across the yeah. the flower bed and you would have had a way better <laughs> way better day <laughs> you know but then you know if you don't go on your phone or don't whatever and you don't whatever then you then there's two sides because then it's like what I said if you're not on it then there's gonna be everyone's you're not part of like it's hard you can't really connect with anyone else because you're not you don't know what's going on if they bring up a name you don't know who that person is blah 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 but on the other hand you can help people maybe we're all may, hop out of that where it's like we can't connect right now but if you come over here we can connect mm -hmm. you know and it's like maybe that's what you have to maybe that's what we should do I think, know, think tough. I'm gonna throw this is my topic I guess it's just a concept I think the world today is reflected upon our relationship with the sun period if you think about that now take like religion and spirituality out of it for a moment just because I'm spiritual so my understanding of God is uh, my um, experience of the divine presence I'll leave it at that. So, but take religion and spirituality out of it for a second. The sun is the closest thing that we can prove because we can look at it, or at least just within our understanding, within our periods that we need to navigate the world. We can look at the sun and be like, that thing exists. I can feel the heat on it when I walk outside. It's like something that you can feel its influence. The sun is the great, take spirituality and religion out of it, is the greatest creator we have access to. The greatest. There's nothing higher than the sun that we have in close proximity that we have access to. Greater than humanity. The sun provides the light, the warmth, the light to allow things to grow, the warmth to allow things to grow. For existence to happen, we need the sun. But people, are, you're trained not to look at it. You're trained, no one goes outside and says thank you. People, you, you assume... I do, but it's because they grow plants. So people assume... That the sun is not a conscious being. But you can't prove that. 
Imagine this thing as a conscious being. Like it is conscious of the fact that look at all these billions of souls on the highway that I am allowing to be alive. And imagine the sun could fly and just move where it wants to. But it stays where it is because it has a duty that it's self-imposed even to keep life. Now that's just whatever. It doesn't matter. But point being the relationship, the, the world today, to me, I can see it as a reflection of our relationship to the sun. We don't utilize the sun. We don't put solar panels. We don't harness the energy from the sun. Everything can be run off solar energy. We don't do it. We don't eat our food off the sun. We choose the bullshit, the not real stuff. We don't eat real stuff. We eat. We don't use the sun. We don't use the greatest creator. Now reflect reflect that to religion now and spirituality. It's the same way. People walk out and be like, oh, it's a nice sunny day. They walk out, oh, thank God. But I don't think they actually thank God. I don't think they actually have that connection to God to actually be like, I feel this thing actually beyond just, oh, it's a sunny day, meaning I am this thing. But the depth doesn't go beyond the surface. People don't utilize it. And therefore, I think that's a discredit to religions. And I think that's a discredit to spirituality because people don't actually take it to that level. When you talk about the chakras or even the zodiacs, to most people, it's a joke because they don't understand it. They don't understand it. Now, the Zodiacs, like I said, just making fun of the space. You you can't prove anything, really. Like, even if it is those things, then you can say that this is all real. But if you understand the wisdom behind architecture, you can use everything in life as um, guidance. Like, there's a, a cell. I think that they did this in Japan. There's like this um, organism that they, the, I think it was the Japanese people, or it could have been Korea, but they put all the major cities on like this thing as nodes, and they drew their like, um, their subway system, or whatever it was, maybe it was the train system, and then this yeah, cell, yeah, this yeah. cell mapped the whole city, and then restructured itself to the most efficient methods to get from every single point, and they built their subway system around what this organism did, nature, right? Nature is the greatest teacher. But just like I said, today, to me, our world we live in is reflection of our relationship to the sun, which means that we don't respect the life that we have because we're not grateful. People aren't grateful. Like I today, someone calls off from work. They don't want to come in fair because there was like six people on and like we don't need that many. And then it was like, oh, she ended up not coming in. And someone else took her spot, which is fine because I ended up only having four of us for most of the day. And then one person came in. But the last thing she sent me was like, because she asked me to like take her shift was, a, oh, she's like, oh, we just can't win. And I was like, you're so ungrateful. Like your neg your mind state is that you're it's like so you're so negative. It's you're so ungrateful for just everything, the life that you have. And most people walk around ungrateful. So the, the lasting sting of conversation that comes out of people's mouths is usually some sort of disdain for something. Yeah. So it's like everywhere you go, it's like, dude, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Like everyone is just so um, ungrateful. We don't appreciate the things that we have. And that's why I feel like, you know, tables turn. That's why I feel like all the bad stuff that happens, we deserve it because you have to get, you have to reach your point where you're fed up. Right. Like when it comes to the race stuff in America, certain people hit their point before others. Right. Certain people, it affects to a point where they hit their point first, where they're fed up. That's true. Right. Other people, it doesn't affect them to the point where they're fed up. If you're not fed up, you don't do anything. Yeah. You don't care. You're not fed up. You have to be fed up for you to care because it has to hit you in a point where it's like it's like a bee flying around you at first you're like okay get away from me get away from me. eventually you're just like you got to smack the bee out the way because it's like this bee will not leave me alone and i just feel like most people aren't fed up because one i don't think people are grateful for what they actually have and everything is so separated in the world that that point of fed up it's like everyone hits it at a different point and realistically, for a change to happen, you got to get to a point where enough people cross that line of I'm fed up to they no longer tolerate it. Like the use of like the R word. Right. That was a word that everyone just threw around. It wasn't a big deal. 
You know what I'm talking about. But then it got to the point. <laughs> got to the point where people just got fed up. I had to make sure we knew what he was talking about. <laughs> One way or another, right? And some stuff is like mainstream, just like go with the flow, go with follow the trend. And some stuff is people actually feel like it. And that's the thing. This is gonna be a bold statement, but that's the thing I felt about the Black Lives Matter. Where it's like, it felt very convenient for the NBA to be super Black Lives Matter at the point in time when they did, and they made a lot of money off of it. It felt very convenient. Because there's a lot of other people, Black Panthers, they were fed up 50 years ago. NBA was going on 50 years ago, but they weren't fed up then. (coughs) So that's why the hero complex for me, I don't like it. I don't like that thing where it's like, oh, for anything, for whether it's sexism, for racism, to, to for when finally it gets to the point where everyone, like, not everyone, but a lot of people are fed up, and then it's a big deal. When it's like, yo, 50 years ago, people were fed up about it. That's why I said, roll up, then we roll out, show up, then we show out. We knew then what they know now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like... The thing I have about the uh, NBA, of the part, it's just like... Having it on the court where it's like Black Lives Matter. Now, one, only, not only black people play in the NBA. There's like a bunch of different, and they're trying to, and you got, at this point, you got all around the world, you got people playing basketball. But point being is, when I look at the court now and it says Black Lives Matter, my first thought is, of course, I was never thinking that they did it. So now, me, a person, not thinking about any racist thought whatsoever all day, didn't have any, didn't even, didn't even look at anyone for being black or white. I look down and I see Black Lives Matter on the court, and you're like, when did they not? Now, obviously in history, there's things that happened, and there's people that view people that grew up a certain way and blah blah blah. But to, I don't think to the to if a a human was had good parents and they grew up blah blah, blah most people aren't ri- aren't actually racist. But it's thrown in your face, and now you got to be like, say that I am not racist. Well, this but is real, realistically, if you're talking about it, it's you're literally being racist because you're literally identifying people by race. I literally walk into a room. I don't associate with three people, three, four people, and there's one black person in the room. I ne- that's never my association until someone brings it up. And then it's like, oh. But the problem now you with have the to problem like, with today though is it's already too late because when you already have the mentalities from like you're you're a baby born right now yeah. like you of course you don't think anything you're just like whatever but then people already think everything that's already being thought the space is already opened like we talked about before so therefore it's too late to be like it's too late to be like oh this is wrong this is right because it's already put out there so it's it, talking about it or not talking about it, it doesn't even matter because it's like it's too late it's already out there the decisions come from when people are fed up when something now affects you, yeah, that's when it is. And when nothing affects you, and that's the problem with everything being so isolated, is when you have isolated pockets, it's like Halo, let's say Halo and Call of Duty, right? You're Halo players, you're Call of Duty players. Let's say you two are Halo, we're Call of Duty, right? If the Halo servers go down, we don't give a shit. We don't play that game. Yeah, That doesn't affect me. I still play my game until the Call of Duty servers go down. Yeah. Now we're pissed. And now we're together yeah, we're joined up yeah. because our servers are down. And that's the thing. The problem is is that not everyone's servers are down at one time. Yeah. That's why the biggest thing when you go on the internet and you look at like the conspiracy theories of like the glo- global takeover, that will never happen. The reason why is cuz the moment there's a global takeover, everyone's servers are down, we all fight back. That's when we win. Yeah. They'll never happen because that's the only way we'll actually win. But, and that's a good point. Like, there'll be things where it'll be, like, for three months. Like, it'll be three, four months. People are pissed about this, blah, blah, blah. And then there's some other thing to go on to the next thing. The servers just and keep rotating. there was no resolution. Down. There was no resolution to that. There's still people getting shot by police. There's still after up things happening in the country. But now, was it? now they're sending just money to another country. To do whatever, and then there's now there's another pro, another thing happening in another place, and now oh you didn't have time we didn't have time to result to resolve Ukraine now we got to talk about what's happening over in Israel and shit like that, and it just goes in this this cycle where it's like now people are pissed off about that for three months, and then what's gonna happen in three months? It's gonna be 2024. The election is gonna start heating up, and no one's gonna give a shit about what's happening over there, what's happening in Ukraine because it's gonna be about whatever the hell they're gonna pull in this next one, and it's gonna be. The, and then now that's going to go for four months and then it'll be where well, people are going to be pissed about that and then it's going to go another four months or something and just constant like 
get them angry, okay. and then... I think at the end of the day, what it comes down to is, like, if everybody looks at it and they're, like... If everyone looks at, like, the stuff that triggers us from any any scale, and we'd be like, oh, this... We know that tactically it's designed to trigger us, but we say, okay, I know that this is trying to trigger me to make my day worse, so I go and make your day worse, so you go and make your day worse, so you make your day worse. I think the we, the moment that things actually change, they won't really be like, you know what? I'm not going to trip on what you did. I'm not going to trip on the little thing that pissed me off, like me pulling up and being like, fuck this guy who didn't go through the light. Yeah. The moment I say, oh, I'm not going to trip on him because he's just living his life yeah. and he made his decision and it's not really his fault that he w- took the safe route, even though I wouldn't have, but I wasn't in his shoes Yeah. because I was the car behind. So I can't really say what I would have done if I was him because I'm me, the car behind. I honestly take it now, if they trigger me on my phone, I would realize, I'm like, that I put my phone down, I just do it, and I'm like, I was on here too long. Because I was on here too long to the point where they were able to do yeah, enough. Sure. They attacked me, they sent enough things to my phone where finally it got me to be triggered about so, whatever it was. So it was like, you were on it way too long. Like, what were you doing? You weren't texting, like, why are you scrolling? Like, why are you wasting your time? And then now all those things go in your mind, and then you, like, move and do something else. But someone else is going to sit there, and now they're going to comment, and someone else is going to... And it's a bot. It's not even a real person. They just, like, feed... And that's what they do, you know? Yeah. It's crazy, dude. The internet's crazy, man. But it's late, and I'm tired. But this one was a dope Classic. One. Zoo, 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 zoo. Imagine in the next five minutes, you're about to have, like, the most, like, important statement that was, like, going to get us blown up and you just ruined it <laughs> hopefully it's in 12 it <laughs> episode 11 yeah it can be a 12 yeah. it's an 11 is one of my favorite numbers so but like We're i said for, yeah, we'll make the sure way we live is I reflective of how we feel about this like the sun right divine timing nice. the sun only shines when the sun shines yeah there is no moment you can create. There's no sunlight you can create when the sun's not out. Meaning, we will never get the moment to blow up when it's not the moment to blow yeah. up. Yeah, no, I know that. So know our that. internal reflection is exactly relationship of how we feel about the sun. So in our universe, physically, the sun is our god. It's our greatest creator, because God is creator, right? And more, just to simplify it, right? But in our physical reality, right? But you take it, like I said. You take it farther out, you can go religion, you go spirituality. But that's one thing, if anything, that I'm taking away from it to remind myself through my day. Because I'm not perfect. Like I said, I pulled up to the light, I was pissed at the guy. Right. Like, fuck you. Like, I have no idea what this guy's life is at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Because he just slowed me down in like five seconds. I'm pissed. But it's ridiculous. Like, we don't need to do that. I think that's the lesson. And we all do that to each other. Yeah. And if we stop, if we're just like, oh, maybe it's not that big of a deal. And that's what I was saying with the trucks. If you do get stuck behind the truck or whatever, and it's like, all right, am I supposed to, like, what, like, in that do one, I need to like, be even, like, when we came home, right, from the trip, right. and we got stuck for however long, if you would if he wouldn't have said shit when you're exiting at the wrong exit, we would have made it home way faster. Oh, like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah but, but then instead, you play it fair, right? We were at a rest stop. This lady came up asking for some money. I didn't really want to give her none. Uh, Ryan didn't want to give her money. Eddie was the one who gave her money, but Ryan was like, yo, should we talk to her? And I was like, yeah, we should talk to her. Because I'm always down to talk to someone who walks up. Yeah. I'm not always going to give someone money, but I'm I'm down to have like see what it, your, what you're Personally, trying to say. in that moment, I want to just skirt away. But <laughs> and if we didn't sit and have that conversation, or when we, when we first left, Eddie took a wrong turn. And I said earlier, I was like, oh, we just missed the crash. Like that delay, we missed the crash. Like that five, ten minutes, and what happened? The crash happened five, ten minutes before us. Okay, sure we that. missed the crash. Yeah. Yeah. So Half every time something that, like that happens, so I always think, especially when driving, like we missed the crash. Like whatever bad event was waiting for us, we just got, like the universe just blessed us and kept us away from it. Yeah. Divine timing. But, but with that, episode 11, guys, thank you for checking it one, out. One. I'm facing Ryan in fantasy this week. I'm facing Calvin. So, big game. Calvin, big you, I, you know, even though I don't really need the win, I probably should get it. I'm actually rooting for you, though. I'm not going to throw the game. You got to earn it. But I'm rooting uh, for you because if you win it, you actually have, this like. This man b- downplaying me, like, it's not 49 to 51% probability right now. Like, yeah. I'm the guy with all the fractions okay. on my head. I've been Calvino. You've been I'm Calvino? a dub Johnson. You're not we'll Calvino see. anymore? Not anymore. I'm too tired. Just some the guru say what's the scenario. I'm always me. Like, 
Indigo Ryan the Navigator. Second, my eyes open tomorrow. I'll be back to Cal Bino. Going. <laughs> Yo, get off going the mic, out. bro. That dolphin ass. Ken get your ass off the out. mic. After one dolphin <laughs> giggle, you should have backed up. That was crazy, bro. Break my eardrums. I'm pissed. <laughs> okay. My bad, my bad. See, see. You guys yeah, later. <laughs> turn the light off. No. Turn, 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 I don't want to turn the light off. All right. It's not over. It's not over. Turn it's over. It was over when this mic setup wasn't close enough to me that I had to fix this all the whole that time. That was your own fault. No one feels bad for you. No, I'm not saying you should feel bad for you. <laughs> I put but my mic up every next time. time this table is going to be right here. Let me zoom out. Press the button. No, we, the, but turn the light off. Thank you for watching. Done. Go Whatever. home. Ocean's on arrival. All platforms. Watch the last one. Ocean Watch the one before it. Watch the next one if it's already out. But leave. We made it I to love you. Comment Bye. down below who your favorite band member is. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about today's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Hit the button. Ah. I think. I think it's one. Goodbye, everybody. I think it's a <laughs> podcast that will grow in time. Yeah. The first yeah, time yeah. you watch it, you might be like, "What?" But if you first watch time it the second like, time, these guys time, are weird. You'd be like, "Uh." Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm more of like a couple years later type guy. Yeah, down the road, it'll flourish. But anyway, thank you for everyone who watches. Yep. Let thank him do his outro. Watching. Thank you for everyone who's gonna watch. Ocean on arrival. On all platforms. Yes, sir. <laughs>